Uh, Jackie, at one point, the state senator started crying. He said that this goes beyond politics. Now, usually when we're at these news conferences, the politicians are even keel. They don't show a lot of emotion. Their responses toe the line. Well, this news conference was different. With the deadly July 4th cookout still on their hearts and minds, several Philadelphia politicians spoke from the heart about the city's surging gun violence crisis. I'm going to bury a family member today and put him in the grave. This is beyond politics. Front and center outside City Hall Tuesday was State Senator Sharif Street, a relative of Salahadine Mahmoud, one of two men killed at Sunday's cookout. The 21-year-old just started his own business. We're making sure that people know that I was a real person. Yeah. And that it's not acceptable that we do nothing repeatedly. While State Senator Street talked about the need for gun reform at the local, state, and federal level, his wife stood by his side emotionless, still in shock over her cousin's death. It's a feeling Sherry Ryans knows all too well. Sherry went to Tuesday's news conference to support a family at their worst moment. She had a poster of her son Terrence, who was one of 500 people murdered in 1990, the city's deadliest year on record. Every time a child is murdered in the street of Philadelphia, my son's coffin is opened up and his blood is running down. That's the way I feel. We have to get guys to get back into those communities that they hurt and start helping them. While we were in West Philly yesterday, we spoke to a lot of people who were critical of the job our elected leaders have done, including District Attorney Larry Krasner. Well, today we caught up with Larry Krasner and asked him what he can do for the people who feel like their voices aren't being heard. His response is at 530. We'll see you then. Live in City Hall, I'm Brandon Hudson, NBC 10 News. A lot of